What's up, gang? And welcome back to another edition of Road Tripping with the Roots. Hi, guys. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, and stay tuned. We will have more reviews, more trips, and more things roots coming your way. That's right. And today, we're going to go over our real review of What If Killmonger Saves Tony Stark. Guys, for our day <laughs> ones, or for those that have been around with us, please be sure to comment and like this video so we know that you're here. But... If you did not watch our What If, What's Next, last Monday at 7.30 p.m., stop what you're doing, stop this video, go watch it, and come back. Yes. We'll wait for you. That's right. Because, reason being... Told y'all. Yeah. Told y'all. Listen, this is the closest we've been... Told y'all. ...thus far with our predictions. So we make sure we have that up here for y'all to click on. Because we do this. I may not always be right. But when I am, oh, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this... So, if this is your first time tuning in, we don't discuss anything with each other. We wait until we're here with you. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we've only seen this episode one time, one and time. we came straight to the camera. Straight to the camera. We will be watching it again. There is a lot to digest. That's right. Um, not in comparison to what was digested in the zombie episode. People were eating, okay? Mm -hmm. But there was a lot to digest. I don't even, I can't even rank this one. I can. Uh, man, listen, guys, full on spoilers. If you haven't watched the episode, definitely be sure to watch the episode. But it is, what if, if Killmonger saved Tony Stark? So mm -hmm. we see it starts off with the, you know, the Watcher and that classic. Iron Man one Tony Stark moment. Yep. Minus the MySpace reference, right? Yes. Where he's where he's I was checking. <laughs> I wanted to see if they were gonna leave that in there. Right, but when he's in the tank, but it's minus that. Killmonger, um, we hear, you know, Killmonger comes, kind of saves the day. We hear the Killmonger beat. So here's the thing. His name is not Eric Killmonger, right? right? So by the time we meet him, He's already earned the nickname Killmonger. Yeah. Just to give you an idea of where his mindset is. Mm hmm To me, that was a sign that, hey, he still has a lot of things that he needs to work anger. out. He, has a he lot still of has a lot of misplaced, misguided anger. Yeah. So um, we see a quick flash of Tony's life as we know it up until the point of I am Iron Man and the snap. Um, R.I.P. R. Tony. Yes. But then Tony is at the podium in that iconic scene at the end of Iron Man where he says, I am Iron Man. He says, I am appointing uh, Eric Killmonger to be the chief security officer. And at that moment, Killmonger calls out Obadiah. Right. Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, listen, listen, he's been using Star Trek. He's been working with the Ten Rings. Every time I hear the Ten Rings, now I get up excited. Shout out to um, Shang-Chi. If you haven't watched our review, we'll include that there. Um, you then, you know, after calling Jebediah out, Obadiah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. After calling Obadiah uh, out, right? He then assigns Eric to be his COO. Yep. In Obadiah's place mm -hmm. instead of Pepper Potts. So Pepper Potts goes over to the cut to sulk with War Machine. What is War Machine's name? Colonel what? James Rhodes. Colonel Rhodes. So she's over there and she's like, you know what? Something's fishy. I bet everyone that's in Tony's life and something, everybody Somebody wants something. Wants something. Yeah. Yes. And he said, well, what did you find? She said, nothing. And everybody wants something. Pepper Potts. You didn't think of the angles that we thought of because Pepper Potts, well, you are not a black person in these United States. Yeah. So but you would have never thought little, of that. We, we already have a little backstory on Killmonger. Pepper Potts does not. No. She so, knows. You know, she's just thinking he is a lieutenant in the Navy SEALs. She knows something's fishy, though, right. but she can't put her finger on it. Right. And it's really. Because everything is checking out. That's right. what's fishy to her. But that's the that's the thing. And I don't want to get into race, but there's an unspoken language 
that, you know, many of those non non people of color don't get or don't understand. Mm -hmm. So um, they take a lot of things on face value, not knowing, you know, like when you get to work, they're like, hey, buddy, how's your day? Not knowing that driving to work is frightening, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Not knowing all the things that you go through. So I was kind of waiting for um, War Machine maybe to shed some light, but he did not. Okay. It sounded like Don Cheadle's voice. Okay. Which I, I was so. happy to hear. Um, you know, comment down below if it is actually Don Cheadle, but it did sound like him. You have Stark then getting Eric into his world and showing him the take. And, um, you know, Eric's like, my doctoral thesis um, is on soldier drones. It's the Liberator. Mm -hmm. So he has an idea and Tony's able to put it to life. Yeah. And, you know, Killmonger has some some smarts with him and some mm -hmm. capabilities. You know, he's not sure he's T'Challa, Tony Stark level, but he he's he's good. He's good enough to get him there, mm -hmm. but he might not get that last piece to push him over the top. But and Tony put him over the you're top. Right, you were right to say that, hey, he might have Tony create his equipment for him. It's Tony's arrogance. Tony's arrogance always gets him. Right. So instead of saying, hey, I'll take a look at it. Hey, let's put a pin in this. Hey, let me get you out of my space because that just seems odd. Tony just sees it as an opportunity to show off his things. Well, not even that either. It was, you know, he felt like he owed him a favor. I'm still going to need saving. to think about it. So, you I, know. I'm, I'm going to need to think about it. And, and so then, you know, we see... As as I, I predicted, I was happy to see Ulysses Claw. So uh, <laughs> you know they're they're talking, and Iron Man's like, uh, "We've got to get Ulysses Claw to uh, obtain some more vibranium because Eric Killmonger shows us the ring." So we know that this Eric Killmonger story is very similar to ours, right. up into you know the point of saving and, Tony. And and where they and where the ring comes in, they came to a. Uh, stand still in their progress because they didn't have enough power. Right. But Killmonger said, here, this should work. And he gave him the ring off of his neck, mm -hmm. you know, off the necklace. And it actually sustained the power that Tony needed. So they needed more. Yeah. Enter Claw. Yeah. And so then we have this kind of um, sting operation. Well, they're, they're meeting up with Claw. And Claw has a slew of vibranium, starting first with, a Dora Milaje spear, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then you hear things. So I'm thinking, is it the Dora Milaje? I didn't hear any music. It was Black Panther. So Black Panther shows up. And War Machine, this whole time, War Machine is trying to get a hold of Killmonger. Like, hey, do you hear this? Hey, something's going on. Hey. It was Killmonger all along, okay? Mm-hmm. He sees Black Panther. And doesn't even take a moment. He kills Black Panther instantly. He's like, what up, cuz? No, he hit him with the little sonic stun. He hit him with the stun, with the Tony Stark, the, the sonic taser. But it was very short. I don't think he hesitated in kind of no. like, you know, I wish it was different. And then still kills him. Right. Right? No. Then there's a moment which was a nod to Black Panther in a lot of ways where, um, and also it gave me the Falcon and Winter Soldier um, scene when we go back and we meet with Black Captain America, right? The first Black Captain Captain America. Well, when Black Panther shows up, it gave me the uh, scene when he was trying to get Nakia. Yes, yes. The 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 fighting part, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you know, War Machine's like, "Hey, what are you doing?" And Killmonger's like, "I would never work for my oppressor," right? <laughs> so it gives you that. That energy in Falcon and Winter Soldier where Isaiah Bradley kind of shoots down Falcon, right? He says to him, like, how could you? Mm -mm. Okay. Right? Yeah. So that was the energy it was giving me, but it was the reverse. It was, you know, War Machine was the older of the two. Mm -hmm. Killmonger then kills War Machine without hesitation. And T'Challa. He, well, he killed T'Challa oh, before okay, that. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Right, yeah. and then he killed War Machine without hesitation, mm -hmm. which was like... A whole lot, a whole lot. 
And then it goes back to Tony at his place, and mm -hmm. he's watching the news. And, and Tony sees Jarvis knows, right? Yeah. Jarvis is the original watcher, okay? Huh. Jarvis was the watcher of phase one through four. And he sees the video. He prepares to call Killmonger out on that. Mm -hmm. And then he uses Killmonger's drone against him. Yes. Right? Yep. Which... He tried. I was here for that. Yeah, I, I was definitely here for that. Um, I wasn't ready, guys, for him to kill Tony. He killed Tony without hesitation. Mm -hmm. He um, blamed it on the Wakandans. And now, basically, has kicked off a war between Wakanda and the United States. And arrogance rears its ugly head again because... Thunderbolt Ross. Well, we'll show them. We'll mm -hmm. show them what we're all about. Listen. And he came and, you know, basically seized all of Tony's assets. Told mm -hmm. Pepper that she now works for him. Yeah. Which I thought was crazy. I Because I get it seizing the property, but how are you just going to seize, like, right, a person? Right. I know. And then you have... Um, you kind of have them getting ready to invade Wakanda. And you have Killmonger, where Claw is like, attaboy, I didn't think you could pull it off. Then it goes back to kind of the true Black Panther movie where he kills Claw and presents Claw to the Wakandans as a gift. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, even though he's in a different universe, he is still wired by the things that transpired in his life. He yeah. He's still wired that So, way. when he talked about his dad, do you believe his backstory about the dad? Because they didn't touch on it. Again. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I, I was going to say something about that because you... Um, he kind of like, you know, he goes in and he says it's all Tony's fault. And you see the iconic scene of when he walks in. But instead of, hey, auntie, King T'Chaka is still here. Mm -hmm. So instead of losing King T'Chaka, we lost Black Panther, a.k.a. T'Challa. You see him, Queen Ramonda, and Princess Shuri. And he basically, Killmonger, blames Tony. And with open arms, King T'Chaka accepts Killmonger. Mm -hmm. Guilt. He's still guilty for what he did to his brother. He looked at him and he said, you have your father's eyes. Well, duh. He's going to cross you just like his father. Mm -hmm. But he felt that guilt. So then he gives him the power of the Black Panther. We're, we're just really assuming that. That, you know, uh, T'Chaka and his brother, they were at odds in Jobu. And Jobu, I feel, yes, because he was orphaned. Later, I'm um, sorry, earlier on, Tony Stark says, we're the same. We're both orphans. Well, yeah, but that's because we're he said his dad got killed to gang violence. That's gang violence. He viewed, I think he viewed Wakanda as a gang, as a big bully. Mm. I think that was his his take on it, or at least that's what Okay, no, 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 it. that's good. I, I like where you're uh, taking that, and that makes sense. So, yeah. I and like then that. you see the scene of the ancestral plane, and we hear T'Challa. We see him as a Black Panther, convert over to um, T'Challa. Once and I seen Killmonger taking the heart-shaped herb, I knew that it was going to go to the ancestral plane, and T'Challa was going to be there waiting on him. And, guys, my shirt, you see it. Woke in Wakanda. I woke up in Wakanda. Okay? <laughs> Seeing the ancestral plane just and hearing him speak. Mm hmm And him speak about... Because at, at this point in the recording, you've got to know that Chadwick was probably getting his affairs in order and just, you know... Um, you could just hear it in his you voice. You could hear it in his voice. Mm -hmm. And so his words were so impactful like so and i just you know mm -hmm. then we see this you know basically the drones get ready to come into wakanda and killmonger say oh we can beat them we've got to battle them i was not ready for queen ramonda as the general of the dora milaje mm -hmm. were you no i wasn't that was good i like that take on it now Epic it makes pricey. me it makes me want to go back and see if she was originally you know, in the comic book, yes. the general of the Dora, you know, previous to yeah. Okoye. 
you then you have this insane battle scene obviously that because he originally said hey when the drones come in they'll be disabled Mm -hmm. and then he acted like tony set it up for them to reenact but it was actually him Mm -hmm. he's just messy the whole way through Mm -hmm. you then hear her and it was like such a maternal cry you know for Mm t'challa and you see the tears running down her face and you know any mother or anyone that loves a child just could connect with that moment. And shout out to them for making each moment count. Right. No. I don't I don't watch a lot of animation, but I don't I can't imagine another animation being able to pull the heartstrings the way that this does. Again, I think it also goes back to the voice actors. Yes. Yeah. Like you have the connection with them right away. Yeah. I mean, you know, you then have Shuri meet with Pepper Potts. Shuri says Tony Stark was a genius, but he was wasn't the only genius. Mm-hmm. And shows her that it was Killmonger all along, and mm-hmm. says we have a mutual enemy. I actually like that plot better than the Black Panther plot. Can I just say that this is like the third? With the exception of kind of like the zombie one, each Mm -hmm. one could have a to be continued. I'm with you. Like, I wanted to see the Shuri Pepper Pot team up. (sighs) Mm -hmm. This was a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. How do you feel about this episode? It was a good episode. So now let me give you my new ranking number. World premiere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) Number one, what did I say? It was the zombies, right? Yes. So, zombies is still number one. Mm-hmm. This one might have passed Star-Lord T'Challa as number two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then... I can see that. Star-Lord T'Challa. Okay. And then Captain Carter. And then the... Uh, Dr. What if Strange? we lost the Avengers? No. Oh, what if we lost the Avengers? No, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about Doctor Strange. <laughs> Guys, listen. So it'd be this Doctor series Strange, is coming yeah. at us fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we lost the Avengers? What and if we lost the Avengers, which are least? Be... Oh. Yeah. Because what are we on? We're on six episodes, yeah. right? Yeah. So one is... Um, you're saying... Zombies. Zombies. And then you're saying Two. this one... And then you're saying, what if T'Challa was Star Lord? Yep. Okay. And then, is Number that your four, Doctor Strange one or has to be Doctor Strange? Okay. Yeah. And then Carter. And then, what if we lost our Mightiest Avengers? Yep. Okay. I'm going with that. Um, I need to watch this again. It was deep, guys. Yeah. Like, I've, all jokes aside. When he talked about a thesis, right, I thought, like, all jokes aside, professors could talk about this episode. <laughs> well, <laughs> right? also, y'all know me. Like, y'all know I like my villains to be unapologetic. He was doing his thing, and he was being unapologetic about him trying to do this mission. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. He's a military guy. This yeah. is a mission to him. It's something he's been working on. For for me, I thought it was amazing how they were able to give the human touch. You know when people are in pain or you or at least I do. You know when someone is troubled and hurt people hurt. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. And he's like I've I've again his scars so very similar to Black Panther like you know I've earned all of these all of these were lives. I didn't yeah. want to take yours. You did. You did. You thought about it. You fantasized about it. Um, c- come on, girl, just go see a therapist. Work it out, really and truly. Because at the end of the day, he wanted Wakanda so bad, but he was able. He was willing to destroy it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. That battle scene could have ended all the way crazy, and he was willing to do that. Right. No, I it's agree. madness. It's mm-hmm. madness. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to the writers. Just shout out to the writers. I I have to watch this again. Do you think it's a different team for every episode? Or do you think it's the same team? 
well, I think this was the team that wrote the the Falcon Winter Soldier series because the way it touched on um, racial things, it it just gave me that Falcon Winter Soldier. And guys, comment down below if you agree or disagree. Mm -hmm. But that's you know that's what it was. No, for I like me. that too. I will say this: I am looking forward to. We have what two more episodes left? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No, three, three. Three. Three more episodes left. Wow, guys. That's all I have to say. So, if you are like us and really are loving this series and you want to know what our predictions are for the upcoming episodes, be sure to check us out. We are live interacting with everyone on Monday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time and 4.30 Pacific for our What If What's Next. Mm -hmm. Guys, they're right. bringing the heat and I am here for it. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like this video, and share this video. Let people know about the Rude's Real Review. And, That's you right. know... And our live. Throw Corey some compliments because he was on it. He was on it on the live with the predictions. So, uh, you know, hats off to him. That's right. Come with your predictions, too. We would we'll love Come to hear Come with that them. heat. Yeah. Come put with them in the, the comments. We, we want to see what we... You know, we going to have a brain trust. I'm all about it. Together. I'm we here for it. these what-ifs out. Yeah, guys... Again, thanks, Marvel. Yet another amazing episode. I've got my Kamoye beads on. Rock Love Jewelry. You know, just let me know when you get the 10 rings out. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm going to go watch it again. That's right. I am too. <laughs> All right, guys. Until the next time. Keep tripping. Bye.